Yo, what is up guys? It's Killalug for the win. Back with another Clash of Clans video. Finally, I know I made it a whole entire week without posting any videos. And I just had a bad week. Let me just leave it at that. I don't want to go too far into detail. But I just had a little bit of a rough week. So now I'm back and semi-recovered. And I'm ready to make a good return on YouTube. I'm going to have a, a bunch of good videos uh, edited out and ready to go for you guys. So I just got to do the commentaries over them. And now I'm in a pretty good mood to do commentary, so yeah. We're gonna start off, uh, looks like some like Palestinian dude. I don't even know. He's got a bunch of loot though. Town Hall 9, a pretty weak Town Hall 9. Uh, just not the best layout, honestly, and not the most upgraded defense in the world. So we're gonna go in on this guy. It looks like most of his loot is actually in his uh, in his collectors rather than his storages. So we're gonna... Like, a good bit of it is going to be in his actual storages, so we're going to go for that as well. And, yeah, we're going to see what we can come up with here. We should be able to get a pretty solid three-star on this guy. Seeing as my giants do still have tons of health, and my infantry are just doing tons of work in the center of this guy's base. Uh, once you, like, he's got one of those bases that once you destroy, you know, a couple of his splash damage buildings on the outside, then, like, your infantry is going to make their way towards the inside. And you're pretty much SOL from there. There's really not a lot your base is going to be able to, to do. For instance, my uh, giants are just tanking, so the mortar and the wizard tower are actually taking all the heat from that. Excuse me, while the infantry on the inside of the base do a bunch of damage and destroy all these single unit buildings and all of the storages. So right now, we've already got all the loot. Uh, we're not really worried about any more uh just like three star in the space i might not even get the three star i might just end the battle a little bit early on this one but that's fine i mean he does have 162 more gold and i'm gonna, gonna go ahead and go in with this wall breaker just to distract a little bit and i was i guess i was still going for the three star all he really has left here is a uh, archer tower and a tesla and right there i was debating on should i should i end the battle yet or not or nah so i, I guess i go ahead and wait and see if my uh, archers and my giants can actually clutch this one out as you can see I do have a pretty fair amount of giants left on the battle so I'm gonna go ahead and let them do their thing I probably should have sped this up but I didn't really speed up anything in this in this gameplay so yeah my apologies anyways nonetheless we did 100% this guy boom shakalaka okay so this one was for uh, just under 600 no yeah yeah just under 600 K uh, you know, about 570, 80-ish thou. So that's pretty solid in my opinion. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next raid. This one's on TKO. Another fairly rushed Town Hall 9 base. And another pretty bad layout in my opinion. Uh, also, this guy, you know, obviously most of the loot was going to be in his collectors. But at the same time, we're going to go all in again. Uh, mainly just to make for an entertaining raid and stuff like that. So as you can see, that gold storage on the top does have a little bit of gold in it, so there must be some loot in there anyways. So yeah, that is a perfect excuse to go ahead and three-star this guy. <laughs> so anyways, I did have a clan castle dragon there. Unfortunately, it's going to go to the left instead of to the right. Uh, looks like this air defense was kind of in the way. Maybe it can destroy it in time before it dies. It's not looking like it. It's actually going to go all the way to the outskirts and meet its death to the last shot of that air defense. Oh well, uh, looks like my giants are inside doing work. I did drop a raid spell on them, and this healing uh, healer did help out a ton. So yeah, now she died, and there's only one air, or two air defenses left, but she did a pretty good job. The giants still have a ton of health, so I'm pretty sure they should be able to make their way around and easily three-star this guy's base. Pretty sure, pretty, pretty, pretty positive. Here my queen is going to start taking some heat from this archer tower, so I'm going to go ahead and use her ability. Uh, in the meantime, a bunch of my troops are going to make their way to the center of this guy's base. And maybe they'll help to distract. Looks like they are a bit there. So hopefully my queen won't die out all the way here. And yeah, it looks like she is not getting harmed anymore. And we are pretty good to go ahead and finish off on this guy's base. We just have this gold storage and this Tesla. And they're pretty much done for. So yeah, pretty awesome three star on that one. And about the same amount of loot. Maybe a little bit more, uh, I want to say 580 or 90k-ish. So right here I'm level 120, you can see I've been farming tons. And here I found a really, uh, this guy just had a lot of gold. He didn't have that much elixir or DE, he just had a lot of gold. So I'm going to start off by drawing out his clan castle troops. 
Uh, fortunately, he only had like eight archers or something like that, and they're a random amount of archers. So I'm going to drop a few archers myself on that and a wizard <coughs> to help kill him, kill off those archers. Uh, maybe he had more than 10 or, or 8 because it seems like it's taken a little while here. So yeah, I dropped another wizard there and he did work and managed to finish them off. So uh, the thing about this raid was I only had 22, um, 22 hogs and there just went like 6 of them or more from that uh, giant bomb in that that spring trap so that really got in the way right off the bat uh, obviously you know he's gonna put something something like that to troll me right next to his town hall I should have I should have known that I should have probably attacked from the other side but it's not a big deal because I did have all five of my healing spells so they should be able to do my hogs justice on this raid as you can tell here they are still alive a few of them are so I'm gonna go and drop another healing spell on the top where most of them were uh, unfortunately, the ones on the left there did run away from that healing spell, and then they got hit by a giant bomb. So, they kind of died out. There's only one of them left, or two of them, is that one? No, that's one. He actually manages to destroy that archer tower, and unfortunately, that last hog rider on the top died right before you could destroy that wizard tower. So, now I'm going to come out with my clan castle troops. I think I had a few wizards, or like two wizards as well. Also, I had 41 minions, so I'm going to go ahead and spread out around this guy's base. I'm mainly going to spread them out on the right side because that air defense is kind of in the way there and that's where the rest of his defenses are. So I know that uh, the cannons and stuff can't actually attack my minions so yeah I'm going to make sure to drop my minions pretty close to them so they can destroy them and they can uh, they'll, yeah they'll destroy the cannons and then they'll they'll will real ah tongue twister there will really be nothing else to kill off my wizards in this raid. So yeah, look at those minions go to work. They're just going to town on this guy's base. There's really no defenses left at all. And they're really just flying straight over the walls and managing to steal the rest of the loot. So this guy had an awesome amount of gold and I managed to get every bit of it and it's gonna bring me that much closer to another upgrade. So yeah, we are farming to this max out town all 10, guys. I'm really not that far away from it now. I really literally only have like 20 upgrades to go. Uh, my air defense is gonna take a little while. They're gonna be pretty hard to upgrade the air defense. Uh, probably going to be one of my last things uh, as far as building wise goes but yeah thought about leave a comment if you want me to actually take a break on my buildings and just upgrade walls that's what I thought about doing for a little while you know I have like three builders working right now and I have like five million goldish so <coughs> I actually did consider um just not even upgrading any more buildings, just straight up going for walls for a little while. I thought that would be pretty cool. Leave a comment if you want me to go ahead and max my buildings or maybe slow down a little bit on that and work on some walls because I think that'd be pretty cool. Either way, it's going to work out and it's going to be really awesome. So uh, sorry about this raid. I actually started to record this one a little bit late. I didn't really realize that I was going to be able to three star this guy, I don't think. Um, I guess I just underestimated the power of the hogs. I don't know, but anyways, uh, this guy had a pretty awesome amount of loot, like I say. Kong Dada Luke. Must be Japanese or something. I don't really understand what that means. But yeah, we're going to we're going we're gonna work on this guy, basically. Doing the ham strategy with the hogs, archers, and the minions, even some wizards thrown in there, even the archer queen thrown in there, and as you can see, it always comes down to the hogs and the minions to make their way to the center of the base last and to finish off the rest of the loot and the rest of the buildings. And look at this. I mean, the archers and the and the you know the wizards are not even close to the loot right now, hardly. It just comes down to these hogs and these minions, and they just destroyed that gold storage in like two seconds flat. So on this one, I'm actually gonna get about 380,000. I want to say yeah, about 380k. So that's pretty awesome. And then I had the little glitch where it shows me uh, back to the menu because my battery is running low. And I just want to show that yes, indeed, that was my village and my raid. So I waited for it to uh, come back up. Anyways, back to the next raid. Another raid. Kind of like it. Somebody's actually going to call me and I'm going to have to decline their call. Whoopsie daisies. I'll call you back. Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got 35 hogs. As you can see, this guy's a gym box. I did check for clan castle. No, I didn't check for clan castle troops. Now I'm going to check for clan castle troops. I'm going to go ahead and drop three hogs just because I wanted to try to make sure I could get all of his um, archers out. And... Yeah, basically what I'm going to do here is pull out all of his archers and kill them off. I had a few wizards, I had my archer queen, I had a few minions. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and use them to kill off all these archers and stuff like that and I think I'm gonna go with just like yeah one more hog to make sure again that there's no more archers and there is there's like three or four more so I'm gonna go ahead and have to pull these little gals out and kill them off as well but then once I do that uh, you know I've only wasted about a minute and ten seconds on killing this clan castle troops hopefully from there I'll be able to go ahead and go in with all of my hogs and three star sky so unfortunately I did have some hogs in my clan castle and that's gonna kinda slow down the pace of the raid again cuz these archers are gonna wanna go for them but now that I've got them cleared out I can go ahead and go in with the rest of my hogs and some healing spells so as you can see here this guy does have his uh, his expos in the center of his base and my hogs have spread out so I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on them uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and check on these guys on the top unfortunately there was a giant bomb that killed a ton of them so I'm going to have to go ahead and drop another healing spell really quickly on them. And the same thing for the guys on the right. Going to go ahead and have to drop another healing spell on them. And yeah, they're still able to do an awesome amount of work. And we're probably going to still be able to 3 star this guy's base in the long run. So it doesn't really matter. Your giant bombs cannot stop me. All your little nooks and crannies. I keep trying to tell these people. I thought I told us so. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like here I might be saving for a maxed out expo or an inferno tower or something like that. Because I have 6.7 million gold and I'm not slowing up a bit. I'm really still going for tons of gold and elixir. So, yeah. Uh, I think this is whenever I was saving for maxed out dragons. And I finally got those. They're pretty nice. They're pretty nice. I only use them like once though. Uh, I have literally guys at my current base I have no more uh, upgrades on my as far as building wise goes I can't use elixir on anything I, I am maxing out my last drill right now and literally that's it for elixir buildings uh, all my army camps are max and everything like that the only thing I can actually use it on is upgrading spells in my uh, laboratory or whatever it's called but yeah other than that my spells or the only thing I had to work on with the Lexer. And yeah, right now I'm uh, saving DE for some level 3 golems. Anyways, here on this one, another 650k, 60k ish raid. Pretty awesome. So yeah, tons of loot right here. God, I just farmed so much freaking loot. It's insane. So again, I basically saved the best for last in this raid. This is probably the best raid in the video at 700k ish. And this guy had a really, 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 really rushed Town Hall 9 again. And also, his expos weren't loaded, uh, not in the league, stuff like that. His expos were just really, they didn't make sense where they were placed in his base. Also, he, you can see he wasted a lot of walls in this base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread out my hogs all around his base. And I'm probably not even going to use any healing spells in this guy because I don't really think it's really worth it. So yeah, my hogs just already have got most of the defensive uh, defensive buildings down. Uh, it's only been 40 seconds into the raid, and we're uh, left with just an air defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with these little two minion, minions that I've got, and I don't think I really need this archer or these two wizards. So I'm just gonna let these guys run around and do their thing. As you can see here, we're already up to 93%, and not even a minute into the battle, which is freaking insane. Uh, this ham strategy just did complete work. We finished the battle in a minute and two seconds and get a 700k raid. That was pretty phenomenal if you ask me. So anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like and a comment. And uh, leave a like if you want some daily videos. I do have some videos ready to post. Uh, thanks for 14k subs. Thanks for 1.5 million views. Love you guys and I'm out. Peace.